number change. Talk us, uh, talk us through that. Well, I, I wore number two pretty much my whole life. Um, and I kind of wore it just because, kind of a lot of reasons. I, my brother wore two growing up and I always looked up to him. And then um, kind of when the number opened up, coaches kind of brought it to my attention that the switch could happen. I had no idea it was going to happen this fast, but I had no problem with it and uh, kind of used it as a good way to just kind of get everything going for, for the uh, bowl game. What have you enjoyed about what, what Coach Riley has, has kind of brought to things since he took it? Um, really just like how excited he is to be in this position, you know. Um, I don't think a lot of people give him a lot of a credit for what he is capable of. And we've seen it like just how we've been preparing for the week. I mean, he obviously knows his stuff. He knows what he's talking about. And um, he communicates with everybody on staff. He communicates with me to see what I like and what I don't like. And just like just the enthusiasm he brings to practice and things like that. You know, he just just happy to be here and, and just happy to be able to be in the position he is. He said that he can tell that you've been preparing for this since you got here and probably before that. How about in your mind, how long have you been preparing for, for this? My, really my whole life, you know, I've been, uh, I've always had the greatest confidence in myself to, to just be able to go out there and, you know, do what I'm capable of doing. I have a great support system around me and obviously the team believes in me, the coaches here believe in me, so it just ultimately makes my job easier. What's it kind of been like now that you are preparing as you know, the, the true number one, getting all the reps in practice and all that? Is there any difference than what you've been accustomed to? Not really. Um, just kind of trying to attack each day the same. Um, whether I'm the backup, the starter, it really doesn't matter to me. Just get, kind of having that same mindset. Um, just going out there and chasing greatness, holding myself accountable, trying to hold the team accountable, and uh, just trying to bring the best out of myself and everybody around me. It, on that video, you mentioned that the numbers changed, the mission hasn't. What is the mission? Um, just go out there and just put put our best foot forward. Go out there and get a win. Um, and just go attack, attack not just the game, but attack each day, attack each practice with our best so that we can ultimately get better each day. We just talked a little bit about Joe. We talked a little bit about Trey. Obviously, your connection with Jace. Just how excited are you to get to go out there and especially with all these you know, young kids who might be making an impact for you know, the first time. Yeah, I feel like it's really exciting, and not just because those three guys that you named are great football players. We have a great young class. We have great leaders and older uh, upperclassmen. But I feel like we just have a great chemistry, or we have a lot of great chemistry here, and we have a lot of great people, and just people that want to be here at K-State and um, want to go out there and perform for the, the person to their right and their left. What have you learned most about yourself over this past Um, Really just... I feel like the main thing I learned is uh, just to stay patient and everything's going to happen on God's timing and just being able to just get closer, grow, grow in my faith and, and get closer to God and just know that whenever he says the time is right, everything will happen. How excited are you for this moment? Uh, I'm super excited. You know, I've, I've been excited to really just play my first snap at K-State and now that it's going to be my first start, I'm just going out there with, with the guys, you know, you put in these harder workouts in with every week. It's just going to be a lot of fun. What's the biggest thing that you want to show this week? Um, really just that I can throw the ball. I feel like um, I'm, I've, I feel like I've proved that I'm really electric with my legs, but really just the people inside the, the facility know what, what I'm capable of with my arms. And just being able to show that um, I can go out there and, and the whole team can go out there and just put together a full performance rather. Because, you know, we lost a lot of pieces and just showing that um, the people that we have here and the people that um, come to practice each day can, can go out there and perform like we know we can.